Topic 8, Statement of Changes in Equity. The Statement of Changes in Equity, otherwise known as the SCE, details each of the changes of the component of equity which we've covered in this chapter's topics. AOCI can be broken down or it can be shown only as a single line within the breakdown as long as the details are included in the notes. Each company's SCE will be different based on the accounts that they have and the transactions recognized throughout that year. Let's look at a real life example. Let's look at Rogers Communications latest annual report. Here we can see their consolidated statements of changes in shareholders equity and we can see that they have voting shares as well as non-voting shares and they have the amount of shares outstanding as well as the value dollar associated with those issued shares for each class. They also have retained earnings. They've listed out the different types of factors impacting their uh, AOCI, as well as a reserve. This shows the flow from opening AOCI, from opening um, shareholders' equity to their closing, which would then tie to their statement of financial position. Now a question. Which of the following would not appear on the SCE? Is it A, share buybacks? B, stock dividends recorded with a journal entry? C, comprehensive loss for the year? Or D, stock splits? The answer is D, stock splits. They would not appear on the um, SCE. They would be recorded as a memo entry and would not be reflected in the SCE, meaning that it wouldn't show the amount of capital moved between the accounts. Thank you, and that's all for the topics in this chapter.